So I'm gonna spend a minute or two talking about my favorite throwdown battery charger. And there's a lot of good ones on the market. I'm familiar with the SeaTex, I'm familiar with the NoCos, I'm familiar with the Schumachers. I've got a bunch of Schumachers sitting in here. I've got some of the Vectors, which are now called Black & Decker. I have way more chargers than most guys. I have chargers inside here. I've got a ton of chargers because i got a ton of stuff. So this particular one is my, my favorite throwdown. And this battery here is currently six years old, and it's holding about 80%. Uh, ninety percent of its its charge it's workable it works as a jump unit or a, a twelve volt to run small uh, camping appliances for a while or small inverters to charge up phones and stuff while you're on the road so let me go through some of the stuff that I charge uh, boat number one twenty one foot this has two um, optima blue tops on it one on each side and I'll use them to charge this my smallest battery is for this Yamaha generator here. That's a 10 amp hour battery, it'll charge that. Then we've got an Odyssey PC2150 and the Titan Optimate 6. The Sprinter House Bank for the grooming stuff, that's proprietary off an Outback, but for the starting battery, Optimate 6. For boat number two, uh, they're basically a 30-foot offshore boat. Uh, two banks, two PC2150 large, 100 amp hours each. Optimate 6. Optimate 6, Optimate 6. Motor home. Let's go take a look at what we're charging here. If you take a look, I've got... Optimate 6, Optimate 6. Looks like I got a problem here with one bank. Let's take a look at the bank I'm charging here. I think the deal is I have the 12 volt circuit on and it has a consistent drain on the 12 volt system. So I'll shut that off and it'll go back to normal. Um, but perfectly capable of charging. Uh, the starting bank, which is 280 amp hour, two. Uh, I think they're group 32s and then four group 27s. Uh, it handles them both no problem. Uh, it's red right now because I've left the 12 volt circuit on and it won't uh, charge it fully in a 24 hour period, but it'll go back and give it another whirl in a sec. I'll shut this uh, 12 volt circuit off and then come back and I'll show you that it'll be, it'll be green on that. But this one small five amp throw down charger will handle everything from Two RV start, two diesel RV starting batteries, uh, a bank of four group 27s to very large to very small batteries. This is the one. Here's the uh, 12 volt switch on the RV. So we'll come back in uh, 24 hours or something, and it'll be 12 hours, something like that. It'll be back to green. I just threw the uh, 12 volt switch to off, which cut the drain. Uh, within a minute or two, it did a self test run and then came back to charge. Notice the red light's off. Um, it's in full charge, it's not pulsing or anything, and it's between one and three amps being put into there. So it's uh, not a lot for. 240 amp hours so it's only taken a few amps and come back out and see whether this will give us a green or not and I came out the next morning and uh, the chassis bank is now full and in indicating charge so this one <clears throat> pretty small physical charger can cover a super wide variety of batteries all pretty much auto magically this particular one doesn't have an AGM setting. There's a newer version that does, so that would be one button, but I charge AGMs with it all the time. It comes up a couple volts short. Um, I also have one that does have the specific AGM setting. And I don't usually bother with it, so. But there you go. This thing's versatility and its range is why I pick it over and over again every time I need to go charge something.